Today we have another $100 Chrono Toys High Roller Uncle Pop Mystery Box. But before we do this though, you know me, we're all about the appetizers. We gotta start small first. You just gotta kinda get the video going with a smaller mystery box. You can't just jump straight into a $100 box. You gotta do a $15 Chrono Toys Challenger Series mystery box. These will be full of common pops, but you can also get some out halfway decent sometimes. And I think we did. Most of these do not come in pop protectors. The Challenger series. Whenever you have one that's in a pop protector, that means you got a pretty decent hit. This isn't a pop protector, so I got a pretty decent hit. What do we get? Oh, is that that ECC pop? Dang, it is. Wow, that's that. That's a big hit right there. I've had this thing before. I think I sold it for like 150 bucks. Dang. Okay. <laughs> The appetizer for this video hit like a ECCC Gears of War grail. This is the Marcus Phoenix Gear of Wars 2016. Oh, not, not ECC, SDCC. SDCC 2016 grail. This is the actual SDCC sticker also. You ready for this? This is going to be... This first pop is going to... This is how you start a video off. Usually in these Chowder Series boxes, you do not get pops this big in them. Here we go. I actually, I was having some issues because there's actually several of them. There's Marcus, Marcus Phoenix with a Gold Lancer and a Black Lancer. This is the Marcus Phoenix with the Gold Lancer. And on whatnot, this has a PPG value of 135 bucks on, on the Whatnot app, which will show you the PPG value. So $15 turned into $135 to start the, start the video. That's an appetizer. So I think this is actually only my second ever like grail hit from a Colonel Toys Challenger Mystery Box. The first one I got was the Flocked Trix Rabbit. Now I got the Marcus Phoenix SDCC uh, Gold Lancer. So I've opened up probably 200 of these boxes, not a joke. And I've gotten now two of the grail hits. Two. So the odds in these are not very good to get the grails. That, this, that is not common to get those out. But hopefully that means this We'll carry on the luck. You ready to find out? Let's do this. $25 a box. There should be four boxes in here, all factory sealed. Four per customer. Four boxes. So this is the New Year's Eve High Roller Mystery Box. Four per customer. Ready to do this? Let's find out. Fingers crossed. Let's actually do the sound test first. Very light box, a little bit of noise. Super light box, no noise. That's a heavier box, a little bit of noise. So either this is in a pop protector or it's just a heavy pop. That's, that's not in a soft protector. Light box, not much noise. Let's do this. Let's do this. First one, 25 bucks. A piece. Okay, first one. This, these, this, this is not a damaged mystery box. None of these should have excessive damage on them. There could be a little bit of shelf wear, but there shouldn't be much. First one. Oh, this is a good one. This is the Naruto Sage Mode. I've sold this thing multiple times between forty and fifty bucks on whatnot auctions. This sells really well. There is a lot of Naruto fans out there. Every auction are always asking for Naruto pops. So this one will sell like that a lot of times these pops have bidding wars too but usually in between 40 and 50 bucks for this pop so once again go on to the whatnot app we can scan the barcode look it up if you don't want it you can, you can actually can sell it straight onto the whatnot app this is actually pulling in right now 75 dollars ppg looks like it was a gamestop exclusive originally this overseas sticker it's worth 75 bucks that's awesome so first box 75 dollars so this does not come in a pop protector, but whenever I do sell these pops, they will all be in seven bucks a pop, pop shield, pop protectors. My choice of pop protectors, whenever I do sell Funko Pops, drag them down below, sevenbucksapop.com. Get my favorite pop protectors from them. Next box, this one had a little bit of weight to it, I think it was, right? Yeah, I think it was this one, had a little bit of weight to it. So this actually might be in a pop protector. If it is, we got something big. Is it? No, he's just just a heavier Funko Pop. 
a little bit of weight to it. Well, oh, it's upside down. We have the back says, oh, is this the chalice? Yeah, it is. This is the chalice venomized Thor. This is the first one I've gotten in the mystery box. This will be the first of probably 50 I'm going to get. <laughs> I think you can still buy this on Chalice's website for like 15 bucks too. I think I'm, I'm, they probably have 10,000 more they have to sell through. So this cannot be worth very much. Pretty much retail. But on whatnot, it has no estimated value. Let me check the Funko app. The Funko app, use it with the grain of salt. The Funko app can be way off on value sometimes. They're saying it's worth 23 bucks. If you bought this thing from Chalice with shipping, it's probably going to be about 20 bucks. We'll just go with 20 bucks PPG on venomized thor the pop back does look pretty cool though but uh the venomized pop line is way oversaturated at this point it's like stop doing venomized pops so first two the first two i'm actually almost at my money back at 95 bucks so those first two almost paid for the entire box we got two more to open up still so no matter what this is going to be a profitable box once again Plus, with that original appetizer box hitting $135 pop in that box. That was nuts. <laughs> Didn't expect that. But once in the blue moon, you hit something big in those Challenger Series boxes. Not very often. I, like I said, I probably bought 200 of those boxes. I've gotten out like two grail hits so far. So, like 1% of the time, you hit something like really good. Next one, we have v Venomized Black Panther. Another Venomized Pop? Okay. <laughs> Another Venomized. Is there anybody else that they can venomize? Is there anybody left? Oh yeah, there's a lot left that they can venomize still with Marvel. But here we go, Black Panther Venomize. We will go back to the Whatnot app to start with. So PPG says 24 bucks. Looks like it must have been a GameStop exclusive, yeah. This is the overseas sticker. Say it's worth $24, so pretty much I broke even on that. So the first three, I'm at 119. So right now, no matter what, I actually am in the positive. If you include the appetizer, I'm like way ahead right now. If, if you want to throw that one in, but we're not going to. Not into, into like the total. That's what wasn't a part of this $100 mystery box. Here we go. Last one. Fingers crossed. Something big. So the biggest hit so far in this box was 75. The first box you saw me do, my biggest hit was 100. And the last two have been kind of like smaller hits. So maybe these boxes, they did too big, too small. Because my last box, my box... I had too big, too small. This is my wife's box so far. She said too small, one big. So I'm guessing this must be another bigger value pop, I bet. I'm guessing. Hopefully. No pop protector. Let's see. What do we get? Oh, oh, is that... Okay. That's a decent hit. I think it is. This isn't the original vaulted one, is I don't I actually don't think it is. This is not the original vaulted Sam. I don't think so. Unless it got restocked. There is a Sam, a trick or treat Sam, that's actually got some pretty crazy value to it. I don't think it's this one. Unless it they unless it got restocked. Let's actually look on the Whatnot app, see what they say about value. Stick on the bottom says October of last year of 2020. They got 20 bucks. This this is not the original Sam, vaulted Sam. This is not it. It has a PPG of $20 spirit, like the spirit Halloween store exclusive. That's okay. So I lost a little bit of money on this one, but grand total though, $139. So I still got quite a bit over my original price of hundred bucks, $40 over value. That's still freaking fantastic. With one hit alone, we're $75. One hit by itself, we're 75 bucks. So that is awesome. So all in all, the Colonel Toys, New Year's Eve, Mystery box, high roller boxes were a freaking hit. Hopefully you got yourself one. In the original box of this video with that Marcus Phoenix Gold Lancer 2016 SDCC. Craziness. Happy with that. So all these will be in a future Whatnot auction. So make sure you follow me on Whatnot. My handle is just at Franchise Kicks. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Franchise Kicks. I'll let you know whenever my next auction is. I'll see you then. Funko Bad Guy out.